It's Girona versus Atletico Madrid. And Atletico Madrid, again, at plus 115. Looks like the only way to go. Girona is at plus 270. The draw is at plus 220. The numbers here are under or over two. We're expecting over at minus 140. I don't know why we're expecting overs when we've got Atletico involved. And it's all about the win for the away side, Pavlos. Yeah, uh, well, it, it's a very interesting match because I this week I, I looked deeper into the the timings of the goals scored or conceded. And I, I looked at, um, you know, some teams are consistent in that uh, statistic and some teams are uh, just, you know, they were used to a specific way of playing throughout the season. But after the winter break, um, for, for whatever reason, they, they do things very, very different. Now, Zero are one of them. Girona, if you've been following them in the last couple of weeks, uh, last week they lost to Getafe. They conceded three first half goals. Uh, the week before that, they scored three first half goals against Bilbao. In a match that had four first half goals, of course, two of them were Bilbao own goals. Uh, but then again, in the previous match, they beat Almeria by 62. They scored four first half goals and one of them disallowed. Uh, in the match against Cadiz, they conceded two first half goals. So, this is a team that's, for whatever reason, again, there's a lot of goals in the last four first halves. I mean, there's got to be, just in the four first halves alone, as many goals as, they, as, they, as they've scored, you know, uh, in the first halves of the entire previous, uh, you know, uh, the season up to up until this point. So, um, for whatever reason, Girona, they're both scoring and uh, conceding in the first half. And Atletico Madrid, of course, they're coming off a, a blowout against Sevilla. They scored two, conceded one in the first half. Um, in the match against Atletico Madrid, um, of course, it was a goalless draw in that first half, but, you know, it was a match against uh, Real Madrid. So, uh, you know, you always take these results with a grain of salt. So, I think there's going to be uh, at least one goal. I think the one goal is a push. Uh, worst case scenario, it's a push, guys, here. Um, keep in mind that in the reverse fixture, we also had one goal in the first half. Uh, I believe this is one of the safest ways to approach this match. Uh, and to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if that goal came early in that match because, again, I was looking at, the, um, uh, you know, whenever, when do this team score? When do they concede? What is their best uh, stretch? Do they start uh, strong in the match? Do they, like, finish uh, poorly? Do they do they play well? So I found some, a lot of interesting di- data. But as far as uh, Girona go, Girona, uh, they scored three and conceded five in the first ten minutes. And uh, Atletico Madrid, uh, they scored three and conceded one. So I wouldn't be surprised by an early goal by Real Madrid, by At- Atletico Madrid. I'm sorry, um, but uh, yeah, I think the safest way to approach this is taking the over one goal in the first half, and then you don't really care what happens in the rest of the month. Paco, it's all about the away side winning at plus one one five, isn't it? Just don't complicate it. I mean, Atletico at plus one one five. We've got Barcelona at plus 120. I've got three teams in uh, the Premier League this weekend in Chelsea at plus 100, uh, Liverpool at plus 125 of a goal and a half uh, start, and I think Man City at plus 100 with a minus one. It's like, it's a it's an opportunity of like a plus 10,000 parlay. Yes, and obviously, as you said, you have to go with the away side because Atletico have, you know, been able to overcome that slump uh, which they faced uh, just before and after the World Cup break. And at this point, I think that they are cruising on to possibly play catch-up and maybe overtake even Real Madrid in La Liga because I think that Real Madrid are going to play uh, most of their of the cards in their deck both in Copa del Rey and in the Champions League. Yeah. And in La Liga, they are, in my view, only one game away or one slip up uh, uh, on away from, from just leaving Barca uh, a free reign on, on the championship. And if you see the way Atletico have been able to play lately, I believe in the last five games, we're talking about uh, three wins, two draws, and uh, just see Griezmann playing. You know, at this point... Watching Griezmann to play is possibly one of the best pleasures in in Spanish football, and the way he absolutely obliterated Sevilla last week was was uh, pretty amazing. And that's why I, I'm I'm confident on on Atletico being possibly another game for a parlay this week because of one plus one fifteen, which is massive for Atletico in their current form, and uh, maybe Girona being lower than it should because I think Girona would should be at this point plus 400. As Pablo said, they are so unreliable. They are able 
to just allow three goals in against Getafe, which are one of the low tier sides. And even though they they were this close to perform the, the most amazing turnaround of the season because they scored twice and they were very close to score the third one against Getafe. So, yeah, just two things. Go the simple route. Uh, yeah. Plus 115 for Atletico. Call it a day. Rip the benefits and, and, and try to enjoy the weekend. And the other way you could look at it is Atletico Madrid scored twice because that's plus 140. So, I mean, if you are a bit greedy, you can always go Atletico and over one and a half or you just go Atletico team total plus 140. And if something crazy happens and they draw 2-2, you still pick up. Let's have a little look at the official picks. It's been seven good games where the obvious is probably not the way to go, to be honest. So it's first half over one at plus 130. Pavlos gone digging. But Atletico money line at plus 115 for Paco. Remember, Atletico plus 140 to score twice. They scored twice. Do they win the game? 